we're going to take a look at another way that you can view work in Google Classroom. So once you enter your class and you go to the classwork page at the very top, you'll see a button that says view your work. We're going to click on that and that takes you to a list of all of the work that you have in Google Classroom. On the left side, you'll see a few different ways you can sort the work. So if you want to see work that's currently assigned that you haven't turned in yet, you can click on the Assigned tab. If you want to see work that the teacher has already graded and looked at and returned to you, then you look at the Returned tab. Or if you just want to see any work that you haven't finished yet and that's missing, you can click on the Missing tab. Over here on the main screen, you'll see everything listed by its... Um, name and due date here. This first um, column here that says today, tomorrow, September, and some dates, those are the due dates that are attached to each assignment. On the far end here, you'll see a tag that lets you know whether the assignment um, is currently assigned. If it says assigned, that means it hasn't yet been turned in. So that would be something you need to work on and complete and turn in. Um, then you can see here work that you has already been turned in. And if it says turned in, then that means it's still waiting to be looked at by the teacher. If you see things with a check mark or with a score next to them, then those have already been looked at by the teacher or scored by the teacher and then returned to the student. Um, if you see a score here that says, a zero, uh, it's a good indication that you might wanna look and see if there's a comment from the teacher about something that you need to finish. And you can see next to the title of these assignments, this little speech bubble on some of these. If you see a speech bubble and a number next to it, then that means that a private comment is on that assignment. And so then you can click here to expand and view any private comments that were left. The one means that there's only one private comment. So if you see a different number, that will tell you the number of private comments that are attached to that assignment. Now, if you need to go in and um, make any adjustments or go fix your work, for example, you can see we have some missing things on the list still, then you can go to the assignment from the screen by clicking on view details, and that will take you to the expanded description resources and your mark as done button if you need to go ahead and turn in your work.